Okay, so uh, let's make PDMS. So in this process, you are mixing uh, two reagents of the PDMS. This one is called base. This one is called curing agent. And then you mix it at the weight of 10 to 1. Okay, so first come to the uh, this uh, scale. Okay, uh, you place the cup and then uh, turn it on. So zero it with, with the cup, okay? And then you can put this, uh, let's actually put uh, maybe 20 grams, okay? So this is roughly good, okay? So you can zero again, and make sure uh, to keep it clean. Now, because this is the uh, 10 to one by weight, uh, you are putting two grams of the uh, curing agent. Okay, so let's put the... Okay, so this is two gram, okay. Um, Again, just make sure to wipe it. Once you have uh, both uh, base and curing agent, you're going to mix it. Okay, just make sure mix it really well, so that all you know both of them. This is really viscous. You can see it's a viscous. So make sure uh, they are well mixed, fully mixed. So maybe for one minute or so, you just keep mixing. Make sure uh, to scrape off whatever is on the side and then uh, trying to mix it together. So now you can see this is really uh, bubbly, okay? Uh, so the, this, you know, the, after you mix both, uh, of, the, both of those uh, chemicals, uh, they are really bubbly. So now we would like to remove the bubble. You can put this into this chamber. Uh, this is so-called the vacuum desiccator, okay? You are putting uh, the top and then uh, open the, uh, so turn on the uh, system, open the vacuum line, okay? And then um, this is going to um, the gas. So the inside of the chamber, now uh, this is uh, lower pressure. So the bubble is going to rise. Have a meter here. Uh, this is going to decrease, and then um, it is getting closer to the uh, vacuum here. Eventually, the gauge is going to uh, stop. I mean, it's going to saturate. Okay. So the uh, once it stops, uh, you can also uh, close the vacuum line as well. Okay. So once this hits 0.07 minus 0.07 or so, uh, you can close the vacuum line. And doesn't matter, you can also, you know, uh, close off the chamber as well, okay? Now this inside of the chamber uh, has a lower pressure uh, than the surrounding, okay? This is going to uh, degas this PDMS, which means that all the bubbles which is trapped in the PDMS is going to rise, and eventually that's going to be a clear PDMS. So let's wait here uh, for some time. So after most of the bubble is gone, uh, we can uh, open the uh, vent line here and to okay so now you can take this uh, PDMS as you can see uh, most of the bubbles are gone okay now you can cast this uh, PDMS onto the mold you created in this case we created the mold by 3d printing Okay, now this is the way, so you can simply cast. There are some, still some bubbles are, are remaining, but don't worry about this. We are going to degas again. Okay. Okay, so now uh, most of the uh, bubbles, okay. This is the PDMS here. Um, so the entire mold is now filled with the PDMS. Okay, now uh, we put this back to the chamber, again. Doing the second uh, degassing, okay? This second degassing just make sure uh, to remove any bubbles that is trapped on the top of the mold, okay? 
and after a while, um, you know, all the bubble rise here again. Okay, so let's wait here. Uh, you know, until okay, let's first wait here until this uh, reading become minus uh, 0.07, and then uh, after that, okay, uh, you can close the vacuum line and wait again. So after most of the bubbles are gone, uh, you can now take a look uh, inside. Okay, now most of the bubbles are gone here. Okay, now you can uh, open the uh, vent line here uh, slowly. Uh, so this is the uh, PDMS, okay? Uh, it's the PDMS uh, which is the, uh, placed on the top of the mold. Okay, now we are going to put this uh, entire mold into the oven. We have an oven that is set at 65 degrees. So simply place this uh, inside of the oven here, okay? And then uh, you can close the Okay, so after two hours at uh, 65 degrees in oven, uh, we can take it out. Okay. So the device now uh, is this PDMS. Uh, it's really cured, which means you know, this is more like rubbery and then no longer liquid. Okay, so once you take it out of the oven, uh, you can take the PDMS uh, out of the mold here. To do so, uh, gently slide the uh, this spatula in and you can see this is the air is coming in okay and then uh, you can go around all four sides of the mold or any shape of the mold depend on the how you design it okay you slide this in uh, go, go all the way and this is uh, try to delaminate the PDMS from the mold uh, you don't have to uh, cut anything okay and then once you go all the way um, now you can uh, take it out you can demold here um. okay, once you come here all the way uh, you can simply take it out okay so uh, this is the PDMS with the uh, micro channel patterns transferred. Uh, after you take PDMS, now you can create inlet and outlet. To do so, uh, you place this PDMS on the flat surface, on the flat clean surface, and using this, okay, called biopsy punch, okay, you can directly place things down, okay, you it penetrate, okay, and I am creating uh, this inlet also the uh, outlet. In the same way uh, you can create inlet and outlet. Uh, after you make a hole uh, you can use uh, something that is uh, smaller and then to push things out okay then for each uh, for each hose there is a plug of the PDMS that's remaining and then uh, you can simply push it out. You can use a tweezer or other tools uh, to take things out, but make sure uh, from all of the holes you can uh, remove those PDMS plug. And after doing this, okay, now your PDMS lab is ready for using. Okay, one additional step here is the cleaning by the scotch tape. Okay, you can take out the uh, scotch tape here and then uh, place them on the surface of this PDMS flap. Make sure it covers the entire surface. You can keep this until you use uh, for the next step, but this is going to uh, do two things. One is to prevent the uh, dust coming com coming in contact to the surface. Another one is to remove the dust when you take out this tape. tape. Okay. So uh, let's go to the next step for bonding. Now we come to the chemical fuel foot, and then we are going to make a bonding between this uh, PDMS and the glass line. 
before using uh, most of the surface was uh, covered with scotch tape and now okay let's take it out here place a surface that is going to be bonding on the top we are using this tool called corona oxidizer this is going to uh, by doing this, okay, this is going to create the uh, discharge uh, from the tip of the instrument. Okay, using this, okay, now we can oxidize the surface of the element. the last 15 seconds for the PDMS. And the last 30 seconds for the glass. After you uh, oxidize uh, both surfs together, can you can now uh, put them into contact uh, make sure do not make sure not to touch the surface okay. Okay. now you bring those two surfaces together after do after doing this corona treatment the surface is supposed to be oxidized and uh, it is adhesive at the molecular level okay uh, by bringing them to two surfaces together, they are supposed to make a chemical bond, and this is going to be the uh, sealed device. Okay, so let's go to the uh, let's bring it to the hot plate and to make sure the reaction is uh, complete. Okay. Let's go. Finally, uh, okay, you have a, a bonded device, and then uh, by placing this onto the uh, hot plate, in this case we used uh, 95 degrees hot plate. Okay, this is going to accelerate the bonding reaction between PDMS and glass. Okay, you can actually leave it for the uh, few minutes, one to uh, one or two minutes. Okay, and then after leaving there, uh, the device should be uh, fully sealed.